Oh, I, I went to the... Because um, I had to restock Old Monk. And stuff. Uh, yeah. I have got it. Oh, there Three you go. full Old Monks there now. Three full heads. Um, But uh, <laughs> he was like, so you like Indian liquor? I'm like, yeah, I like Old Monk. And he's like, oh, have you tried this one? <laughs> it's called Antiquity Blue. Oh. And I said, is it an Indian liquor? You said, yeah, it's whiskey. Okay. I'm like, oh, I don't believe I've had it. No, I never even and heard of he it. He said, yeah, it's good. And so he could be lying to me. And he just made me buy a bottle. Made you of buy liquor a bottle that I've of never it. seen. But uh, I thought okay. we could try it on the channel. Sure. Antiquity Blue. It, it is a it is an Indian export. Um, so I'm so glad you waited to do this with me because for four of the days I was fighting COVID, I couldn't taste diddly squat. How does diddly squat taste? It depends on the season. If it's summer, after a long game behind the plate, I it's like, really, really rank. I like the bottle. It looks like almost a bosom. You would a, like a you, woman and you, a bosom. Can we see? A woman in a bosom. It does. It kind of looks like a, a pregnant lady or a lady. But if you see it from another vantage point, I bet I know why you like that, Pegger. Anyway. Um, <laughs> now I have to pee again. Well, let us know if you've had this. I hope it doesn't Antiquity suck. Blue. Antiquity Blue. Slauncha. Slauncha. Salud. That's really good. That was nice. It's like smooth and smoky. That's quite delicious. Caramelly even. I agree with everything you just said. That's delicious. It's got, and I'm not a it's big. It's almost a scotchy. Flavor. Too often, yeah, too often, smoke can get heavy handed, as can spice. But that has some spice and some smoke. And some sweetness. And like you said, it's got some, some sweetness, but it's not too sweet. Yeah, that's it's quite like good. a right balance of all of them. Ooh, well done. I'm nice and warm. <laughs> I, Let us know if you like this down below. I like it. There's even a little hint of cinnamon back yeah, there. Yeah, there is. That's quite good. Hey, good job, guy, at the yeah. liquor store. Juice! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. Liquor in the front, poker in the rear. What? No. Consensual. No, that's sign. And you that's call sign. Instagram, Twitter for juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon follows. What were you subscribe. thinking? I was Nothing, talking right? about signs and bars. Yeah, they have of course. liquor in the front and they play that card game, poker in the rear. Yeah, yeah, totally. Wow, Corbin, where's your mind? <laughs> Anyways, um, how you doing, Rick? I'm doing so okay. <laughs> You're doing so okay. Well, I would say I'm doing great, but I'm still... Not to bring up negative things, I'm still in the aftermath. As long as the stupid convention in Texas is over, when that's done and that's not in the news anymore, I'll be really happy. Yeah. Because having that right on the heels of that shooting was just enough to make you want to vomit bile and then drink it again. Well, we're trying something today. Yeah. And when I say this, what do you think of? Um, say it. Chaiwin Prash. You ever had Chaiwin Prash? You know what it, no, you know what it sounds like? Hmm. It sounds like a kind of drink that Chewbacca would love. Well, this is... Um, Every since we had Hajmola, people have been asking us to try this. <laughs> I bet they have. Oh crap! You've got it. <laughs> nope. Well, you know what? You know, I here's. You have to try it. Okay, I will. Because here's the thing. The first experience with Hajmola was pure disgusting. So apparently, but I grew to like it. You did, and I may. I I don't know if we'll like this, hate it. I don't know. Um. But it's apparently something that, like, people have, like, just every... It's, I think, something for... Um, um, digestive. Ju no, not digestive, but, like... Um, Heartburn. Immunity. Immunity. Um, so read this. Uh, Chow and Prash, also known as Dingleberries from Chewbacca. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dingleberries it from doesn't, Chewbacca. It doesn't say that. Also known as Chayan Father... Whoa. Chavanaprasha, Chavanaprash, Chavanaprasam, and Chavanaprash. It comprises two lexes. Chawa... Oh, sorry. Oh, where'd it go? I meant here. He meant another thing. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Chaiwan Prash, CP, is an Ayurvedic health supplement which is made up of a super concentrated blend of nutrient-rich herbs and minerals. It is meant to restore drained reserves of life force, ojas, and to preserve strength, stamina, and vitality while stalling the course of aging. Hey. Hey. Good for you. Chawan Prash. You're aging too. No, I'm not. Chawan Prash is formulated by processing around 50 medicinal herbs and their astra 50. extracts, including the prime ingredient amla, Indian gooseberry. Gooseberry. Which is the world's richest source of vitamin C. 
Chowan Prash preparation involves preparing a decoction of herbs followed by dried extract preparation, subsequent mixture with honey and addition of aromatic herb powders, namely clove, cardamom, and cinnamon as standard. The finished product has a fruit jam-like consistency and a sweet, sour, and spicy flavor. Scientific exploration of CP is warranted to understand its therapeutic efficacy. Scattered information exploring the therapeutic potential of CP is available, and there is a need to assemble it. Thus, an effort was made to compile the scattered information from ancient Ayurvedic texts and treatises along with ethnobotanical, ethnopharmacological, and scientifically validated literature that highlight the role of CP in therapeutics. Citations relevant to the topic were screened. So, yeah. That was a and lot we're going to put this in our body? We are. I have, you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? What? Going to get the shits. Uh, send it to. I just want to know in Johnny's reaction to you trying this. So just send her a picture. I'll tell you what. If my wife says don't eat it, I'm not eating it. I'll watch you eat it. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> no, just uh, say wait, wait. we're trying this. <laughs> just say All that. Because right. I want to. Oh, I want to know what she's gonna say. Here we go. <laughs> see what she says. <laughs> and okay, I just sent it. Now let me tell her. We are trying this right now. Is she online? She should be. Okay. Uh, she's not over there, but when she's got when I send her a message on her phone, it goes straight to. Anyways, um, but so yeah. Anytime we um, nothing yet. Anytime we've brought up like Hajmola, people are always like, "Make them try this." Okay. So, um, <laughs> all right, let's open it and uh, get a whiff. Okay. Oh, my stars, just looking at it. Oh, that actually doesn't smell bad. Well, we know no, what it looks it, like. I, it actually looks like when, when, if you don't know, when a baby is first born. It does. It's exactly <laughs> what it looks like. I, I don't know what it's called, but it looks like tar. Myconium. It's called myconium. It smells good. It actually smells, it almost smells like a plum spice thing. She said, oh, yum, I love that. Okay, so yeah, at first blush, it does look like myconium, yeah. which is what babies poop when they're first born. It's black tar. Black tar. But it also kind of looks like it could be a fig pudding. Yeah, it does. All right. Okay, so I'm not as scared smelling it. Okay, she said, oh, yum, I love that. Used to have it all the time. Yeah, so apparently, like, every Indian just tries, like... How come it's taken us so long to discover this? I don't know. Uh, People have been recommending it for a while. All right, so let's get a... Let's get a... How much are you supposed oh to eat? Oh, my word. Look how thick okay. it is. Here's my question. Look how thick it is. How do you eat it as well? I think... Well, cause is I've this like it, Vegemite? It might be. Because you're not supposed to eat a lot of Vegemite, and I know that by mistake. Uh, okay, well, I'm just eating this much. That's a, That would be a lot of Vegemite. I saw people... Like, I saw videos. Okay. And so people did eat it like this. Okay. So. Well, Australians would eat Vegemite like that. I know. They're crazy, man. Have you ever had Vegemite? No. It's freaking disgusting. So, But Vegemite people have like on... Sorry, Australians. Vegemite's nasty. But people have Vegemite on, on bread, right? They do, but the, the primary reason for So do you for have it, this on bread? It was a vitamin deficiency. That's why. But now they still eat it, even though they have the vitamins they need. They still eat it, but it's... I made the mistake of putting it on my bread like peanut butter on toast. Or butter on toast. Okay. And when I told the folks that I did it, they were laughing at me. This is thick. That's what she said. So it's, it smells fruity, but it also smells Indian. Just like you. Fruity and you smell fruity and you smell Indian. I don't. Okay. I don't know. Well, there's the thing you've been waiting okay. for for a long time. Here we go. Slauncha. Slauncha. The texture is like a jam. Ooh. That's <gasps> good. My salivary glands just exploded. Whoa, it keeps going. I'm getting different flavors. <laughs> I did not expect to like that. That's actually pretty dang good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Chowan Prash, an adventure for your mouth. It's it, an adventure. It starts off with the jam kind of thing, and then it gets into more floral. And yes. Then, and it gets into more like cinnamon almost. And it expands. It's it's almost like, like a the mushroom growth. Yeah. Right? It goes, Whoa. I had the exact same thought. And I was not expecting to like this. I was expecting this to be like a I hajmola. thought it might be a nasty trick. This is not bad. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's pretty dang good. <laughs> like, do you put the... I, it might be too sweet on toast. Like, well, how, how, how would you normally eat I, this? This would work on toast because jellies and jams and yeah, honeys are sweet. That's true. However, it's such a complex 
blend of flavors. I'd oh. want to have it on something that's pretty bland. Dang. There's a lot, a going, lot going on, on. in there, it's man. It's really good. Well, look. look if you look at the ingredients. Wow. <laughs> There's, no it, wonder. I think it said 50 medical herbs. It's got a bazillion things in it. It's got asparagus. There's cinnamon. Yeah, you... And 40 nightshade. And and the farther it gets along, the more of that you taste. Horse vine. <laughs> Dude, that... Crab's claw. I'm not kidding. You're not kidding? Not kidding. Raisins? That doesn't surprise me. Oh, no. Cork. Swallow. Wow. I'm... And human flesh. Well, I could sense that. All those other things I said are actually, are actually in it. Wow. What's the... Okay, it's only got a gram of, it's got zero grams of fat, no cholesterol, like five milligrams of sodium. Guys, I'm sorry. Eleven I, grabs of carbs. I this thought, is in a this is in a uh, teaspoonful. I thought this was going to be carbs. I thought this was going to be like a funny reaction for you guys. Me too. But that's that's just pretty dang good. <laughs> it it is it's. Really delicious. Direction, use one teaspoonful as a delicious bread spread uh -huh. or by itself. I could absolutely put this on a teaspoonful and just sit back and watch like a TV show and just take little tiny bites of it and enjoy the sweet nectar. This is this is really, really, really good. I was expecting a hajmola thing. Yeah, I was like, oh, people are going to love this. We're going to hate it and we're like at a... But I'm sorry. I mean, maybe it, maybe it's good. You're like, yeah, yeah, you like it as well. But the amount that this was requested, like even most recently on our, um, remember when we watched a granny make a thousand. Uh, yes, yes, yes. People said they should try this, and it got hundreds of upvotes. Maybe they, uh, well, maybe they're just like, we like up, it. It's I would, good. I would upvote it. But I thought it was more like a <laughs> make them try a jow and brush. No, like. No joke, this is one of the better tasting things we've had. Yeah, in terms of like something that's not like a homemade thing. That's um thumbs up. Total total ad. I'm in shock. Uh promotion from us. No no question about it. But it, there's it's so complex. You can taste it. The, you could taste like the minute you taste it, it's it literally it starts from <laughs> It starts on your tongue in a singular like location of really mm. deep sweetness, like yeah. like plum pudding or something, right? Yeah. And then it all of a sudden goes, and you, it's like riddled with all of these different flavors. It's really really cool. Well, I thought it would be funnier, but uh, that's the reaction to that. <laughs> I'm, later on, we we're, we're we need to get tea and biscuits and parley G. I'm grabbing some. I wonder if you could. You put it on a parley G biscuit? No, too too. I would rather have something more bland. It would be really good if you. It had would be some, good on Melba toast. It'd be good to have a a thing of chai to wash this down as well. Yeah, because I think it would complement the flavors. I think you're right. Um, but I would want it on something a little bit more bland. The kind of biscuit that that Indrani eats with her her cha is is not as sweet as parley G. I love the flavor of the toasty sweetness of the parley G. Yeah. It's buttery. Yeah. Um, so this, something more like a Melba toast or even just a whole grain bread with nothing else on it, um, I'm sold. Totally sold. Well, I hope you're happy because we are. <laughs> that's much more thrilling for me than, uh, than a hajmola. Yeah, I think, I think that's a, a, a bit of an upgrade from Satan's asshole. Oh, that's like... Uh... I was about to say something real <laughs> dirty. <laughs> you don't even want to know. I'll, we'll find out when he turns off yeah. the record button. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till oh, we stop recording. It was so bad in my Dude. head what I just thought of. Great. Anyways. Don't forget it, please. Um, I gotta know. Well, well done. I, I hoped you. Uh, okay. I'm letting my wife know. I hoped you liked our reaction to. Uh -huh. uh, it's <laughs> delicious. Let us know what else we should try. Yeah. Down below. And if you like this, and if you don't. If you don't, you're wrong. <laughs> Two.
Deus!